Mate, you look pretty happy. Did you just get promoted to first grade? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty special getting the first grade uh, first grade um, cap. Um, where, how did you find out, mate? How did I find out? Yeah, I just dropped up to training and got told that I'm playing first grade by Puli. Really? Did he pull yeah. you aside or did he say it in front of everyone? Um, I think I was just stretching before training and then Puli just came up to me saying that you're playing um, first grade this round. I was like, sure. Cheers. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't you, expect and, it, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. This is serious stuff, mate. This is first grade, mate. You're just under, you know, under first class cricket. So all that hard work's paid off, mate. It did, yeah. Yeah, all the pre-season, pre-pre-season training and everything is finally paid off. Yeah, pretty happy. Well, we look at Ali. Obviously, he uh, does a lot of work with his bat, and he got himself in the first grade with 100 as well. And obviously, you've yeah. got, uh, yeah, 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 and you've been got an opportunity this weekend against, uh, well, we hope so, against uh, Redlands, mate. Um, it was a bit of a, st- uh, um, what do you call it, a, a bit of a hiccup at the start of your, your first grade career because of uh, the weather? It was, yeah, a couple of weeks, both weeks washed out, um, waiting around. But yeah, finally got the cap and yeah, ready to go. You'd have been the worst person to be around for that two weeks. You would have been climbing the walls. You would have had a ball <laughs> in your hand. You would have been throwing an orange in your hand. One of the kids' heads. Yeah, praying to the rain gods, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, so, I'll, I'll bring a towel and a hairdryer. I'll dry the ground out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's been a bit of a wait for the past um, couple of weeks. But what can you do? It's the weather, right? <laughs> Nothing you can do. What'd you, how would you go last Friday night, mate? How would you sleep? Um, not too bad, actually. Um, try to keep, try to not think about it and just, yeah, just slept nice, woke up, rocked up to the ground, nice and sunshine. So game on. Yeah. yeah you didn't sleep at the ground, eh? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So uh, look, you, you kid on the block, obviously, uh, you just obviously got in the huddle there with, um, with all the players, um, mate. Would you have rather have had a bowl straight up than uh, have to bat? Um, ideally, yes. Yep. But I wouldn't mind because um, right now we are in a pretty good position with the runs on board and then I can just go out and do what I do. So mm. it's nice um, to have runs. And also I get to bat as well. So without any pressure, go out and just just try to hit some bombs. So a bit of both. And... Yeah, yeah. I'm not too. I'm not too unhappy about not bowling first, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, batting first against Heslett, uh, Baisley, uh, Sinfield probably would have been a bit of a, a nightmare. Will you bat um, first up, or what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be facing the first ball this weekend. Okay. Right. Are you Are you facing the first ball, or are you the other end? Uh, no, no. I'm facing. I'm facing the first ball. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> All right. Well, we've seen Thailanders uh, chalk up pretty big runs here, Jason Gillespie and, and company like that. But now, listen, in, in all seriousness, mate, you've probably got a lot of people to, uh, to thank. Because obviously, your family's got to put up with uh, your, your training and all that sort of stuff, and your, and your ridiculous passion for the game of cricket as well here. So, the, yeah, it, it's not just yourself getting. Well, obviously, you're the talent, but it, in the background, there's a lot of people you got to thank. Hey. Yeah, yeah surely it's uh, my parents. Obviously, they're not here. They're back in India. But obviously they follow like my games and everything and they're always backing me um my partner obviously she puts up with a lot like all weekends i'm out i'm playing training so she puts up as well and also my friends um while training they help me with training as well so it's um it's it's a collective effort i can't take um, the credit it's um yeah yeah yeah, if you put on that 50 run partnership uh, on Saturday morning, um, then you'll have a bowl. Uh, I'm not sure whether you'll open the bowl or not, but that's besides me. But um, obviously, you'd like to get that ball in hand. And I, I would say that you want to hang on to this first grade spot, mate. You've worked very hard for it, and you're not going to let anyone take it off you. You're going to go out there guns blazing. Yeah, for sure. Because, yeah, um, it, the aim was not to just make it to the first grade team. Yeah, for me personally, it's, it's to stay in that team as a constant member. And for that, obviously, because there's a lot of people pushing for that spot, so I have to prove myself to stay there. And I'm, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm ready and I'm pumped to go in there and express myself. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, 30 odd weekers, I think you've got an average of 23 or something. You did all right with the bat as well. I think your best figures is a six. So, so you, 
you weren't you weren't selected just for your good looks mate just saying but you probably <laughs> could have got in on that yeah i mean trainings have to be translated on the field as well because um numbers are as important as people say numbers are not important but then at the end of the day you get picked on numbers so yep. luck i was lucky that whatever i trained for uh it paid off in the field so yeah i just need to do what i do what i've been doing and just keep things simple all right um you got any uh um, superstitions or anything about before you play um i've been using the same uh, pair of spikes it's literally ripped off and i bought a new pair of spikes start of the season and i didn't break into it because i took a six five in my second round in threes and then since then i've just been using that so that's a bit of a superstition there like i'm just going to hang on to them until they completely wear out and they're just worn off because everything's working for me so i'm not going to break into new spikes and get out of the field <laughs> you don't worry about textbooks or coaches just wear the same boots that should be in the manual that's how you become a, a first grade cricketer so uh <laughs> exactly. yeah, don't, don't worry about training right? you just get the spikes of the best ones so yeah. um listen mate look look i love seeing players that yeah we got up there in the first grade we've had other players moving to first grade as well your cap number 346 right you're gonna get that tattooed somewhere uh, maybe not a tattoo, but then definitely that number is going to be special for me. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, oh, what's that on your backside? Anyway, see so yeah, how you go. Um, all right, listen, Ray, congratulations, mate. Good luck against the Redlands Tigers this week, and they're, they're a, a, a mighty outfit here. And uh, we need some wins. We've got to come home with a wet sail. We can't uh, rely on other results. We've got to look after ourselves. And uh, you're part of that 11 now, mate, of the first grade side. You're you're one grade below first class cricket, so congratulations on your selection, mate. And uh, we wish you all the best, mate. Um, and hopefully those spikes will hang on for just four more games. Uh, cheers. Cheers, John. Appreciate it. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Cheers. cheers.